Hi fellow percussionists, welcome. I made this video especially for those who want to start playing the bongo from scratch and who are looking for some videos or tutorial to see how to start playing the instrument. Yes, if you go to YouTube and look for some tutorials, you're gonna find out that there's a lot of videos about how to play the martillo. Yes, that is the basic rhythm that you can play in a bongo if you want to play salsa or song. Uh, my recommendation to you is that by any means start playing the bongo with the martillo, yes? Along this video I'm gonna give you all my reasons uh, that why you don't have to do that and also I will show you another way to start playing the bongo that is gonna be easier and also it's gonna be useful because you can apply this way of playing to different rhythms, not also the song. So, wait no more, let's go to the video. why I don't recommend you to start learning to play the bongo with the martillo is a technical reason, yes? You know, to play uh, the bongo you can use different digitation, yes? You can use di digitation that repeat hands and digitation that doesn't repeat hands. So, uh, in the case of martillo, as you can watch it in the videos that you can find in YouTube, you're gonna use this kind of digitation, yes? I show you. Yes, when you, what you are doing here is you're playing all the time with your right finger and with the left hand you're using double strokes. What I mean is I use thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, similar to the double strokes of the congas. Uh, I know, maybe it seems simple, but you're going to see that if you try to do it, it's going to take you a long time to move forward with the combination of both hands and also it's gonna take you a lot of your time to get that at a fast speed. An additional issue with this technical approach is that you're gonna at the end when you get to play the martillo, the basic pattern of martillo, you're gonna keep trapped or wanna be trapped uh, in that space and you're gonna find difficult to go from here that is the martillo dynamic to a one-on-one -on -one play. Yes? The second reason why I don't recommend you to start learning to play the bongo using the martillo is musical. Yes? Because, uh, as I said before, martillo can only be used to play salsa or song and some other rhythm related uh, with these musical styles. So if you want to go outside the salsa world or the Latin music world, you're gonna find that this way of playing is really really limited. So again, try to go in a different path. say let's move on into a more friendly and easier way to start learning to play the bongos yes uh, that also gonna give you resources to play all kind of music so the first thing that, that we're gonna do is gonna identify the sounds that we're gonna use yes in bongo you have uh, two basic sounds yes you're gonna have the accents that are gonna be high if you play it in the little drum and low if you're playing in the big and then you have like the filler notes or ghost notes yes so instead of playing this what we're gonna do is gonna play uh, all the sounds in the same spot what I mean is I'm not gonna use this dynamic with my left hand I'm gonna use the same dynamic that I will use with my right yes so that's gonna help you a lot because it's gonna be easier uh, from the technical approach 
and also from the musical world because it's gonna be easier to see what I'm playing and what I have to play. So let's go to the filler or ghost note. Yes, we're gonna play them with the tip of a finger. We can play them in the little drum and also in the big drum, but mostly we're gonna play them in the little drum. Yes, in here. Yes, uh, so the filler notes or ghost notes are, I'm gonna use it for a hand motion purpose. Yes, so we're gonna try to make them sound the less that we can. Yes, and then over them, we're gonna play the accents. See, that the accents are the elements that gives identity to the, to the rhythm. Yes, it's uh, make like the melody of the rhythm. Yes, that I need to play. So, uh, again, so if you came from Martilio, we're gonna move on from here to a simpler way of playing. That is gonna be. Yes. So, in this way, we can get out of this trap, this kind of trap when I get to, into here is okay. I can play the rhythm, but I want to play some other combinations, but I can. And we're going to move on to a simpler way of seeing and approach that. So, for example, if you play Matrillo, you're playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yes. And you're playing eight notes. What I mean is one, e, two, e, three, e, four, e, one, e, two, e, three, e, four, e, one, e, two, e, three, e, four. So what you can do is you can think that as is a, um, a map, yes, like a map uh, in which you are placing your sounds. So you know that your right hand is going to be the numbers 1, E2, E3, E4, the down beats, and your left hand is going to be the up beat, bad beats. So it's going to be 1, E2, E3, E4, E1, E2, E3, E4. So what I can do is I can start building new rhythms from the martillo. For example, you can do this. Let's see, martillo again is one, e two, e three, e four. You're gonna accent all the down beats, and the last down beat is gonna be on the big drum. So now we're gonna do the, the following. We're gonna play the same, but we're gonna add an accent on the E of the four, like this. One, e two, e three, e four, e one, e two, e three. E4, 1, E2, E3, E4, 1, E2, E3, E4, yes? So you cannot say that you are playing something new, yes? Uh, for example, uh, let's go a step further, yes? Let's add a second accent that is going to be in the E or 3. So it's going to be 1, E2, E3, E4, E1, E2, E3, E4, E1, E2, E3, E4. Let's go out the, now the, out of the martillo. And what we're gonna do is gonna move these big accents that when you play martillo is in the fourth. Well, now we're gonna move it to the four, the third, sorry, the third uh, downbeat. So it's gonna be one, e two, e three, e four. 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 Yes? So again, with that movement, you are creating something new. Yes, so um, again, this uh, one, two, three, four, one, two is kind of like a frame, yes, like a map in which you can move the pieces and create new rhythms, yes. So, let's see for a minute, we're gonna do this, we're gonna play the one, the two, and the E, and the three. It's gonna be one, E, two, E, three, E, four, one, E, two, E, three, E, four, one, E, two, E, three, E, four. Yes? Maybe what we can do is let's modify and generate a variation for this rhythm. Okay, let's play the one, the two and the E, the three and the four. And the three and the four is gonna be in the big drum. So it's gonna be one E two E three E four. 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 So this
way you have it. This in this way uh, is uh, simpler and easier to start uh, playing the bongo. Yes, from the technical approach and also from the musical approach because you get into play uh, fast that with Martillo and also you have the tools and the resources to be created yes to create your own rhythms and also to do the reverse engineer what i mean is listen to something yes and then try to play it on the bongos well this is the end of the video i hope you find it useful and fun and that you can apply any of the recommendations i gave you to start your learning path in the bongo if you like the video please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and if you want leave a comment i've been seeing you in the next video